again bringing you another Magic 2012 gameplay. In this episode I'm running Guardians of the Word again, and I can't keep this hand. Um, that is a bit better if I draw a land, I guess. But some good creatures in there, I just need the land. I'm playing against this guy who danced, because that's what cool people do. They dance, he's playing Blood Hunger, he started with Ancient Depths. And there's the land that I did require. So yeah, he's playing Ancient Depths. Uh, not Ancient Depths, he started with Ancient Depths. And then he decided to dance on over to Vampires. Even though I don't mind this matchup. I pl it's my last ga the last game I played uh, was against Blood Hunger and I any rage quit. Um, okay, this guy just seems not to know what he's doing because he played the Bat Bear. So he seems to not know what he is up to. Which is fine by me. Um, no point attacking because nah, he probably wouldn't have blocked. But anyway, we'll see what he does. He d he can't be the better player since so he does doesn't know what Bloodthirst does. Although he might have a Bloodthirst creature here now. No, he must have some big creature cards in his deck. If I've got two heedless ones, which is absolutely insane. So I might as well swing in here because he can't do anything. I do need more elves though, that is something I do need. And then play Zuri. That I'm not gonna lie, that is probably going to die. I'm not expecting that to live. It'll easily die to a, a vicious hunger or something. That is a very good card. And that does put a dampener on my attacks. That means he's hitting me in the air for four every turn. If I could draw a card, Plummet would be the most beautifulest of cards right now. A swamp. I'm going to play that just to make it seem like I might have a kill card. Bring in Heedless One. And then I can swing in for three, no problem. But yeah, if this is going to be a race, he's winning at the minute because he can hit me in the air for, for four every turn. Now he's got the five drops, so I'm expecting to spread the sickness. Um, oh, he could have a bloodthirst creature then. He's holding back, okay. I guess that does make sense. No bloodthirst creature. I don't know what he's got in his hand then. Soulquake, that is a lovely card. Um, I'm going to play that now. Urge to feed. That's fair enough. I, d I didn't expect that to live long. I still kill is good creature, so that's fine by me. That's fine by me. So, in two turns time, I should have a 2-6-6 six, six Heedless Ones. Ooh, Drana. I wish I'd have saved it for that now. Because that is a very good card and could win him this game single-handedly. See, people who don't cut cut their decks down still do amazingly well against me. They still draw all the cards they need. Right, well, Heedless One. I can't attack because of Drana. Hopefully he swings in with Drana. Um, okay, he's, he's destroying a heedless one. Okay, that's annoying. I hate that card. Drana just wins you games. It really does. Um, can I play both? Yes, I can. And that's what I'm going to have to do. Get that. And then this. Um, I might as well attack. He's probably going to kill it anyway. If I can survive this turn, I might have a chance. But am I going to survive this turn? That's the question. If he has a crap, this game over. Although I could. He does need another land for crap, but he's just going to kill. 
No, he's not killing it. No, okay, he is going to kill it. I guess he's just deciding which one he wants to kill. And it's going to be that one. Surprise, surprise. Sacrifice that, get some life. Go up to ten. No blocks. And this should be game. Well, hey, so that went that went rather well. He's got no tricks, so hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. A really good fort match against the vampire deck. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Later guys.